Digital rain is probably one of the most recognizable effects from the Matrix movies. It's only natural if you want to know how to make it, so if you're curious too, continue this path and take your pills no matter the color, because we can change it later on in Adobe After Effects. Alright, once we're inside After Effects, we need a vertical text layer. So up here, click and hold to choose the vertical type tool. Then create a vertical paragraph like this and fill it with random letters or numbers. If you go with letters, aside from English, you can use fonts like the matrix code, which is only for personal use, JCons, which is what I'll use, or any other geeky font that you like. Then change the color to whatever you want and turn the bottom letters to something brighter to make a sense of highlight. Next, add the wiggly effect from animates under text selector. Add the property of opacity to the animator 1 and turn down the opacity to something like 20. Then add the character offset to the text and alt click on the character offset to add a simple expression. Time times 7. Now we have flickered the opacity and randomized the letters like it's being coded in real time. Turn off the text layer and create a new solid layer for the particle effect which simulates the rain for us. Then under grid and guides, turn off the grid, set the birth rate to 1, longevity to 5, open the producer, set the position Y at the top, I don't know why I'm talking like this, then set the radius X to 1, radius Y to 0.3, and radius Z to 0.4. Open the physics, choose the cone axis for the animation, set the velocity to 0.5, and gravity extra and extra angle to 0. Open direction axis and set the axis y to 1. Now we have the right direction for the rain. Next open up the particle and set the particle type to textured square. Choose the text layer for the texture and set the texture time to birth. Then set the birth and depth size to 10 to make them noticeable. Set the colors to white to keep the original colors of the text layer and your rain is ready to fall. And if you don't like the color, you can change it from the particle. See, I told you we can change the colors later. Now that our digital rain is ready, the easiest way to use it is to render it out and bring it to the project as a video layer to avoid heavy processing. You can use your digital rain in many different ways. If you want to make a 3D matrix environment, all you have to do is to shoot or find a footage that is easy to track and add the 3D camera tracker to get these tracking points. Then click on a precise point on the ground, right click and choose create null and camera. I don't have the camera option here because I've already created it. Then you can bring your rain footage to the comp and turn it into a 3D layer from here to be able to place it in a 3D space in your scene. And repeat the process until you've filled every surface with these codes like this. I've added the Lumetri color effect to make them brighter and more visible, a tint effect to turn them into a matrix-like green, and two glow effects to make them pop up even more. Now to match the shot with these codes, you can add the tint effect with a slightly darker shade of green, find edges to bring out the lines, invert it to make it dark and blend it a little with the original footage to keep some details. Then again add the glow as always and you've successfully entered the matrix world. We can also use this effect to enhance sci-fi title animation. But where do we find such a title at this time of day? Hmm. Let's see. Glitch titles. This is cool enough. And I think the link is in the description. So after downloading the pack, open the After Effects folder and choose one between these nice looking glitch titles. I have imported this one to the comp and as you can see, it looks good right off the bat. But I like to have some codes behind it to make it a little bit more sophisticated. Also if you want to know how to make a glitch title by yourself, you can watch this video from our channel that covers this topic in details. If you open the title layer, you can change the colors from the setting layer in effect controls. 
Then bring the rain footage to the comp. I'm gonna duplicate this and repeat the process. Let's reset everything to default. Delete the mask. Okay, set the blending mode to add. Then choose the rectangle tool and draw a mask for it around the title. Feather the mask a lot to make the edges fade out. I did 600 for the previous one. Let's go to the beginning of the title animation. Then you can use many different ways to bring the rain to the background, but I'm gonna have a simple fade in for it. And this is how we can play with effects from famous movies like we don't care. Every link that you need to make something awesome is in the description, and until next time, let the codes rain.